What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about a subject series versus Sepix. What I'm talking about here is the motor drive systems of a golf cart. If you're interested in buying a project cart or you're interested in buying a golf cart from someone and you want to soup it up or make it faster or have more torque or be a people hauler or, or whatever you wanna use it for, do you know which golf cart you should buy? What we have here are two Club Card DS golf carts. Basically, it's the same golf cart on the outside, as you can tell. The bodies are the same. They may have different headlights. Those are just accessories. Uh, both of these have extended tops. Both of these tops are aftermarket. The uprights here, they're different. The golf cart is primarily the same golf cart, as you can see, but they're totally different at the same time. This white golf cart here has a series drive system. This red golf cart here has a Sepix drive system. So on today's video, I'm gonna try to show you guys how you can tell the difference in both of these carts if you're gonna looking to build one of these carts for yourself or if you're looking to buy one for you know yourself or your family. The series golf cart here, that's on my left here, your right, were designed for like torque. It's very easy to make torque with these golf carts as were the Sepix golf carts here or uh, is, is pretty much like a people mover cart. A lot of the newer golf carts now have gone to the separately excited motor systems or Sepix, and this is the golf cart here. Now, you may be saying this golf cart doesn't look very good, and you're exactly right. That's one reason I bought it for this video here. If you look at this golf cart, it's kind of old. It's kind of kind of ratty looking, rough around the edges. I like that, okay? The, the reason I like that is because this golf cart here will produce more speed easily in a golf cart versus a torque uh, setting or a series setting of a golf cart here. So this red golf cart is ratty looking. It has a much updated internal system in it than this white golf cart does. So the white golf cart is a series golf cart. The red one is a Sepix. Both of these golf carts are 48 volts. The series golf carts came in 36 and 48. I want to say the Sepix DS's come in 36 and 48 as well. You'll probably find more 48 volt versions of the Sepix than you will of the series. A lot of the old, old series carts came in 36 volt um, configurations. Now, if we walk around and show you some differences of both of these golf carts here, it's pretty easy to spot, but one of the main thing that you want to look for is your FNR switch. So the FNR is the forward, neutral, and reverse switch. In the white series golf cart, you have a lever. I used to call this the poverty lever, and it actually rotates between your forward and reverse wires and makes contact. Now in that FNR lever system, the levers are the weak point on these golf carts if you're trying to go off-road. In the Sepix systems, your FNR, your forward, neutral, reverse, is a switch. Now on the DS platform, from a factory standpoint, the switch is gonna be mounted underneath your legs, the same spot as the lever uh, mechanism on the series cart. Also, if you're gonna look at a cart and you want to find out what year it is or which system it may have in it or had in it, you can look at the serial number and determine the serial number there. I'll place a links in the description below with some websites where you can determine what the serial number stands for. But generally you'll have two letters and four numbers. So in these club card DS's, you have the same thing. They're located right there underneath the dash. Very easy to access that for you to go and look exactly what your cart you're looking at buying or purchasing. Or I say that to say some people are out there and they're trying to I tell you, hey, this is a this is a brand new golf cart here. I just built this golf cart. But you look at the serial number and it might be 10 years old. I may be, I will say I may be leaving some things out in this video. If I do, please drop them in the comments and help the other people who are looking at this video as well. Uh, especially if you're a long time subscriber, please do that. Uh, when I'm making these videos, I have things running through my head all the time. So, um, so it's easy to forget is what I'm trying to say. Another thing here you want to look for is your uprights in the club car DS's here. This is a newer upright. As you can see, it's the black one and it's kind of bent here uh, about halfway and it kind of slants in just a little bit. Okay, that's another newer thing to look for in a club car DS. 
this right here aluminum track here is kind of the old school track of the system now this golf cart here is a 2002 and this one here is a 2007 so within five years a couple of things have changed then both of these tops are aftermarket tops so uh, one thing to look for is the tops in a golf cart i'll kind of place an old school top versus a new school top right here uh, on this video overlay right here where you can check that out but like i said both of these are aftermarket roofs you really can't tell about the golf cart here another thing you can tell about uh, the club car ds's is the one piece rear seat is a little bit newer or a lot newer actually than the two piece rear seat and what i mean here you have a seat here and you have a seat here so i'm not saying that that this is always going to be on a series car because someone could have changed them so there's a lot of different things you can look for to find the year of the cart and see how new it is or whatever see if somebody's been modifying it and trying to tell you something uh you know rather than what the golf cart's telling you cup holders is another thing you can look for there's an old school cup holder there's a new school cup holder the dashes are just about the same in these right here the pedals was about the same and then you also have your drive system as far as your v glide as far as your m core and as far as your old resistor gray box drive system as well the gray box um, is directly underneath the driver's side if i can find a picture i'll put it right here this was for the resistor carts then they went to the v glide system the v glide was underneath the driver's side inside the battery compartment and then on like this red car here it has an m core in it the m core is underneath the passenger uh, floorboard uh, I'll show you a picture of that here as well. So there's another way of looking at the club car DS's is seat handles. Both of these carts have the same seat handles on them. Um, this is like the newer style seat handles. The old school seat handle is just a metal bar. I'll place a picture here so you can see it. So you really can't look at the handles and judge a book by its cover because it's easily replaced on the front of the seats. So on the golf cart bodies, the front body looks about the same on both of these right here. On the back, the bodies are the same as well. The bodies is made kind of like out of a composite type plastic material. I, I can't tell you to be exactly what it is, but uh, if, if you find one, it's, it almost feels like fiberglass or a, a telltale sign is the real, real old school rear body. Over the fender well, they used to have like a little, um, like a fender skirt or, or a fender flare, if you will, and it would stick out. That was the old, old school bodies. So another way to tell the series from a Sepix cart, if you're out in the field looking for one, flip the seat up and let's see if it has a tow run switch. The tow run switch will not be on a series golf cart, but a tow run switch will be on a Sepix golf cart. So the tow run switch is basically as, as how it sounds. When you're running the golf cart, you put it into run mode. When you're towing it or you're pushing the golf carts after say the batteries have died, you want to put it into the tow mode so you don't damage the internal components. Steering wheels is another thing you want to look for on a club car DS platform. Um, some of the newer style steering wheels has a, uh, a notepad holder and the old school club car steering wheels is just like a three point style steering wheel. So another thing you want to look for, that's only if it has a factory you know, steering wheel on there. So you're looking at a golf cart and the controller's been taken out, the battery's been taken out, but there's a motor. How would you know if the motor is a series or a Sepix? The motor has a speed sensor on the, on the outside of the motor with a plug on it. That's a Sepix motor, a separately excited motor. How would you know if it's a series or a Sepix golf cart? Well, you can look at the motor itself. On the end of the motor, on the very outside on the end, it'll have a little black round thing. That's a speed sensor. The speed sensor lets you know that that's a Sepix motor or a shunt motor, okay? Same thing, okay? Basically, that tells the controller how fast you're going and the series golf cart will not have the uh, speed sensor on the outside, but your Sepix golf cart will have the speed sensor on the outside. Sepix carts or the system in those, those have regenerative braking automatically built in. So when you're cruising on the road, and you let off the accelerator pedal, the golf cart will automatically start to slow down for you versus a series golf cart, it'll just keep rolling until it stops, okay? A lot of the aftermarket uh, controllers and motors out there uh, to make these golf carts go faster, if you have a Sepix cart and you put one of those on there, you can usually adjust the regenerative braking for more regenerative braking or less or turn it off altogether. I hope this short video will kind of help you out if you're looking for 
you know, a, a golf cart to build, whether it be a series cart or a Sepix cart. And this is just a club card DS platform. Uh, in the EasyGo TXT platform, it's the same way. They have a series EasyGo TXT and they have a Sepix EasyGo TXT. I think it's called the PDS. And they, they also have a DCS. Um, we might make a video on that in the upcoming future as well. If I can find two of those carts to do a video on. I picked up both of these golf carts and they're very similar, but they're very different. And I haven't had either one of these on the channel, but we're gonna be doing builds on both of them. Now I've already started working on this one a little bit. And if you've been following my videos, you have seen we've done a speedometer upgrade, bushings in this one as well. We added a relay to the DC to DC converter so it wouldn't drain the batteries, okay? I have a all tracks controller for this. I have a new plum quick motor for this that I haven't uh, done on the channel yet. And I can't wait to see what a series golf cart would do with these upgrades. I also have an all tracks controller for this golf cart. And I also have a different plum quick motor for this golf cart as well. And I can't wait to see what it does in comparison versus the stock off of each video. So we're probably gonna lift this golf cart here. We're probably gonna leave this one stock. Um, I can't wait to speed this one here up. I think it goes like a maximum of 10, 11 miles per hour on a good day. This one, I picked it up non-running and I actually pushed it out of the shop for this video. The batteries are in it or shot. Um, I don't even know if it runs or not. Uh, I just picked it up to, do, to make videos on. So these are two upcoming videos on the channel. We have another DS that I've been working on. It's a, it was an eight passenger golf cart. I uh, got it for free and uh, it's, it's a big golf cart now. It's got 35s on it. It's got an AC system on it. Those videos will be coming out soon as well. Uh, we might be doing some gas powered content on the channel very soon. Not exactly sure. Kind of trying to make a deal with a, uh, a few guys here locally on uh, doing some horse trading. But anyways, with that being said, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Until the next time, we'll see you later.